This is uh, Peter and Camilla Allman. Hello, Camilla. Hello. We are in Thailand and, and uh, we are uh, having an amazing time here with God and, uh, and uh, the expansion of his kingdom. So I'm going to do a little interview with Camilla and then she's going to have an interview with me and we're going to tell a little about our, our journey here and uh, what's happened, the miracles God has have done. So. Hello, Camilla. Please sit down. So, Camilla, where are we now? Now we are in Pattaya. Yes. The first day after we came yes, uh, yesterday night yes. from Hua Hin. Yeah. So, Camilla, can, can you, we arrived uh, to, uh, to, to Hua Hin in uh, Thailand about uh, 10 years ago. Uh, 10 days ago, yes. sorry. Not 10 years. And uh, we have seen a lot of things happen there. Uh, um, when we go, went out and preached the gospel. So, so can you tell me uh, the story, what, what happened when, when we have uh, been out here? Well, it's wonderful. We came here for a vacation from our work, not from God. And uh, we didn't know how he would uh, lead us into uh, making disciples here in Thailand. What is it? Speak higher. Okay. Uh, and, uh, but uh, almost the first day we were in a spa uh, and, uh, and then they started to tell us they had hurts and uh, sicknesses and, and uh, things. So we asked, do you want us to pray for you? Because Jesus heals. <laughs> and uh, then it started. That was uh, the opening God gave us. So we have uh, been in this spa many, uh, many times. And we have prayed for things in their bodies. Like um, uh, not the owner, uh, she had... Uh, uh, damage in her in her foot, so she couldn't wear high heels. Uh -huh. um, so uh, I prayed for her, <laughs> and uh, she was healed. Yes. Uh, and uh, now she can she can walk again. Yes. So could could you feel like uh, when when was it a uh, door opener into the hearts when when we prayed for them because. Uh, uh, yes, you re you remember when when we uh, when we said we can pray for you then then you, you expect uh, Jesus to do something. We are all dependent on Him. We, yeah. we has nothing in our own power. Yeah. So w when when this this happened, can can you can you describe her uh, reaction when she got healed? <laughs> she was uh, amazed. She yeah. was like uh, she didn't understand what happened. Yeah. Because it happened. Yes. And, and you said. and your and your feelings about it, you you also could see well, that this could could happen even in Thailand. Uh, when we started uh, to talk about it, oh, you want us to pay for this and this and that. And then they were in the spa treatment, and after a while I was thinking, okay, now Jesus, you have to be with us here in Thailand. Yes. You have to make the, the signs that you promise you do for us, because we are believers. Yes. Uh, and then first you think, oh, maybe go behind somewhere and pray. But yeah. we didn't do that. We yeah. did it openly, because for them it was uh, totally... Uh, uh, that was the idea but that after the treatment we would pray for them. Yeah. So we did it openly and yes. openly they were healed. Yeah. She was healed from that and then we prayed for another uh, woman that had uh, ache up here down there. Yeah. And then we prayed for her. Uh, but of course we prayed sometimes because it was not 100% at, uh, at once. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. It's wonderful. But it was a door opener because then they saw that uh, that uh, we care for them, and Jesus healed yeah. them. Yes, yeah. wonderful. And we have, we have also prayed for uh, a lot of other people and uh, for different different st things. C can you tell us about? Uh, we have uh, prayed for many people, and we have seen uh, many miracles. Uh, people got healed and touched by Jesus. But uh, we also pray for for uh, other things, like for example this yeah, uh, yeah. massage. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, because uh, we pray for for healings, but we also pray for. Uh, because it is low season, so yeah. it's not uh, so many customers all the time, and she has to have the customers all the time. So we said we can pray for that. So we prayed for the shop and off, and then two days after we came there, she said that after we prayed, been uh, a lot of customers all the time. Hallelujah! Yes, <laughs> God then, is so good. And then it was uh, another woman EU. She she couldn't sleep because she was thinking all the time things. Yeah. She couldn't sleep. Yeah. So we prayed for her, and then after two days when we came, I slept. Yeah. She slept in yes. the, and then still we have seen her, and she's still sleeping in the nights. Yeah. 
Yes, and then you and me, we can also see that the Lord has been. Uh, this is not only for the unbelievers. This no. this is all uh, uh, for us also. Yeah. Because we have also also been uh, suffering from some some pains and and, and things. Can, can you tell us about that a little bit? Maybe yeah. when we went through waterfalls. Yeah. For example, we went through waterfalls. Uh, I uh, we had to climb, and my knee was hurt. Yeah. And I felt, oh, my knee is hurt. Can you pray for me? And then you pray for me because it was so wonderful that when we pray for each other, we we also it's like we are uh, uh, training uh, yeah. the to to uh, to follow the Lord. In Practice this. our belief. Practice it, yes. And then um, so you pray for me, and I said yes, I'm healed. And then I started, and I said okay, it's not like hundred mm. uh, percent. And then you said, then we pray again. <laughs> yes. <laughs> again, it was hundred percent. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I remember. And then. You the, the, day, the day before yeah. uh, when you were in a treatment, unfortunately, yeah. uh, you were hurt. Yes. In a, a bone in the in, yeah. the, in, in the. They did this Thai massage foot. on me, and they, yeah, they yeah. almost broke my foot. Yeah, and, and then I prayed for you the day before, but you you didn't feel that uh, uh, you were healed. Yes. But then when I was healed totally, then you got faith that you you also would be healed. So yes. I prayed for you, and you you felt. Yeah. You, you you just knew you would heal, and then it, it was like yes. it was gone. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Were yeah. Hallelujah. So we have seen other things too when we pray for each other. Yeah. Like you, your tongue. Yeah. You you said that when you woke up, your tongue was uh, hurt. Yeah. yeah. And I prayed uh, three times, then it was totally gone. Yes, and that was also amazing. <laughs> God is amazing. We have an amazing God. We serve. Yes. Hallelujah, and, and He's healing really. We tell them in the spa that everything that that when. Uh, prayer answer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank yes, you. Always yes. thank you, Jesus. Yes. And then they wonder what will happen now. We will. They want us to pay every day for the spa that it yes. will be new customers. Yes. We say, but the prayer we prayed, it lost. Mm. The only thing you have to do is to say thank you, Jesus. Yes. Amen. Okay, Camilla. Thank you. It's but, wonderful to hear. Uh, but uh, also we have uh, uh, told them about Jesus, about the cross and about uh, the good news. O not only the healings yeah. and other... Okay, you so, Yeah. Tell us okay, now uh, we thank you Camilla so thank much, you. Camilla Olman, my beautiful wife. Uh, this has been an amazing time here. Yes. And uh, now Camilla is going to... I'm going to tell a little about our... our uh, for my, my uh, side of the story. Yes. So, Camilla. Hello. Hello, Peter. As I said, my name is Peter Olman, and uh, I'm in Thailand with my wife Camilla. And we, we were supposed to go here for a vacation. We booked it uh, about uh, maybe half a year ago. But uh, but a lot of things has, has happened in our life after that, you know. And uh, one of the things is that we really start serving the Lord in a different way. We go out and we really meet people and we, we preach the gospel. Uh, we pray for people, and we see miracles happen all the time, not he only here in Thailand, we also see it in Sweden, in Denmark, wherever we go, and we are bold and go out, and there to ask people if they are suffering from some kind of disease or pain, and we pray for it, uh, we see miracles happen all the time, so it's so wonderful, and as Camilla told you, it was... Uh, yeah, we saw, we saw a lot of uh, healings, but uh, it was, like you said, a door opener to what? To yes, what? yes. Can you tell us door more? Opener. Like I said, it's, we have seen a lot of wonderful things uh, through healings, but I, be, I believe that God is using these, these, these things uh, to reach the unbelievers. Mm. And, and this is an amazing door opener. You can really see that uh, it's like the key to heaven, you know, in mm. people's hearts. Mm. So, so when, when we have uh, prayed for people, we can really give them the gospel and tell them about Jesus, mm. about God, the Trinity, uh, we have uh, been able to, be, uh, we just prayed that because we needed Thai Bibles to, to give these ladies, you know, so they could read the, 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 read the story about Jesus mm -hmm. for themselves and have the God, Word of God. Because we can't just leave them here down in Thailand. We must also, uh, we have a responsibility to, to follow up. So, mm -hmm. so, so we, we just prayed and we met this wonderful uh, uh, man here in Hua Hin. Uh, he came and gave us uh, a lot of Bibles in Thai and, and uh, tracks. And, all the things we needed, so we just could give this also to, to, the, to the ladies in the spa, uh, so we really could give them something there. So it's been wonderful, and we have prayed a lot with them, and we have really showed them uh, uh, the smell of Jesus. And, uh, mm. You can really feel uh, uh, it's, a, 
it has been a wonderful feeling. It is a wonderful feeling to, to, to just, uh, follow Jesus. And I also want to tell you about... Uh, uh, but so, we uh, have so, also met uh, other people. Yes, we, we have also... Uh, I want to tell you about other, other people. You know, we have, have, have uh, always, uh, also Scandinavian people, especially one man, his name is Harald. He, he, uh, we didn't feel that we should give him the gospel immediately, but we, 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 uh, um, after about a week we just uh, preached the gospel to him and told him about Jesus and we can really feel him, uh, we could touch his, his heart, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and the day we left Hua he, he uh, I prayed for him and you could see tears in his eyes and, and he was touched. So I don't think that is the end of the story with this man, because uh, he heard about Jesus before. We also, uh, when I was walking the streets of Huahin, uh, it was this young man, I could see him a couple of times, and it was, his, his leg was totally like uh, a big sore. The, the, whole, the whole leg was totally destroyed, like it was it like leprosy or something. And I, 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 just, I, I didn't know what to do, so, so, so I just felt like, uh, I just walked by him, but then suddenly I, I just, uh, was walking with Camilla and I saw him, and I just, I just stopped, you know, and, and I, 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 I felt like, okay. And I saw a pharmacy across the street, so I just took him in there, you know, and I, I uh, asked him to take a look at him, you know, and, and, and uh, this man was really smelling bad, and he was in really bad shape, and, uh, but they gave uh, us uh, prescriptions for medici medicine. Yeah, but so they didn't really want to. Yeah, they didn't really want to help him, you know, mm. because you could really see this, um, uh, the difference when people don't have love in their hearts, mm. you know, and compassion, you know. Mm. So, but but I, I was uh, I just pressed through there and said yeah we, we must have this so, so we bought a lot of medicine to him and, and I told him and I, after we left the shop you know I showed him how to take it mm. uh, and I looked when he swallowed it and I think okay we need this to God now and we put mm. our hands on him and we prayed in the name mm. of Jesus get healed and the, and the day after mm. this man was there again you know this is a big city we was in so this is amazing we was uh, just going into him all the time so we really feel this is God. So and we could see him, and I was so happy. And and, and he showed me the medicine case, uh, this bag with medicine that he's eaten. And he ex he couldn't speak English, but he explained to me and, um, that he's going to take it every day. And, and when we looked at his leg, you know, it was much much better. So mm. we can really see the combination here of compassion, use doctors, and also the power of prayer to pray yeah. for people. Yes. And and uh, and we gave him he gave him something to, so he could eat. And, 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 we really, uh, I really felt that that was the will of God, mm. and, uh, uh, and it's wonderful to. I don't do this for me, you know, because I'm, I just, I just follow my Lord Jesus Christ, and, and I know that He would do the same, you know. Mm. So it's wonderful to uh, to be here in Thailand, and, and this is just the beginning of the <laughs> Hallelujah! You know, we stepped into the arena after one day. We're like totally in the game. We, this is much more than we ever could imagine. So, so uh, I just uh, to be continued. And God bless you all. Uh, we wish you all the best, and, and uh, we, uh, we we just want to tell you that we love Jesus so much. And it's so wonderful to be a disciple of Him. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And here's Thailand. Amen.